Hey, how are you? It's Trish Fadley coming to you live from my living room. And I wanted to talk about the soul tonight. I want to do a little soul searching with you. Anyway, it is Christmas time and I start to get a little deep at Christmas time. Those of you who have followed me for the years know that I get very sentimental around the holidays. I'm a very family oriented person. I love to watch my son grow and, and become the man that he's becoming. And he bought me a gift last year and I wrote about it. It was called the gift of hope. And it was this bracelet that I have on right here with the hearts on it. Do you remember that story that I wrote? But anyway, um, I'm very sentimental around these times and I got a post today that really touched my heart and, and it's like I really don't believe that people really, really, truly understand um, opening your soul means, what, what giving of yourself 100% means, what understanding that everybody in this lifetime is not going to be at the same level you're at and understanding that you must reach a higher level when you are at a certain plateau you must start to achieve something new to grow to to adventure out and and wonder what's going on in the world around you other than the small box that you stay in every day of your life okay when i heard this i posted something it was in reference to you know a man being a gentleman and really uh touching a woman's heart and soul and being that person that she wants him to be every woman wants that but not all women are ready for that and what men need to understand is that if a woman's not ready for that then they're going to give you a response that's negative in the response that you are trying to get from them. They're not ready for the soulful love that you are offering to them. And that to me tells me that you need to move to a higher level or to a higher ground with a different set of intelligence because we all grow at different levels in our life. And, you know, if you've done self-development and you've developed your mind, you're going to be different than 98% of the people out there in this world and it's hard to find someone who thinks on the same level as you unless you use the law of attraction and you find people in your mental um, level and you start to hang out with those kinds of people because otherwise you're not going to grow you're going to stagnate yourself I want people to understand that if you want to love, you must be willing to give love. If you want to, a soulful commitment, then you must be willing to open your soul up. And not a lot of people are willing to go that far for people. And when you open your soul, you open up to being very hurt. And a lot of people don't want to deal with that, so they don't. So just take it. Uh, with a grain of salt, I'm no expert, but I can tell you that um, being a soulful person is a much, much better way to live. It's a much, much more peaceful way to live. And you know what? I, I tend to not really care if someone doesn't like that because what's not to like? Okay, there is nothing to complain about when you live a soulful life. And yeah, sometimes, you know, I go off the deep end a little bit. And my halo tilts a little bit from side to side. But for the most part, I try to live um, what I preach. And um, just live from your soul. Live day to day the way you want to live it. Make it your life. Make it, if your relationship's not right, then make it what you want it to be. Or move on to someone who wants to give you the things that you are asking for because otherwise you're just wasting your time going in circles trying to make someone else be the person that you want them to be and they're not so with that being said I'm gonna say good night and happy holidays to you and I hope that everyone is thankful if they have a soulful love that they realize that they have one and they nurture it and they love it and they respect it okay because it doesn't come around that often and when you get it hold on to it take care god bless love you guys bye